Hello friends, welcome back to Screen Magazine. Mike McNamara here on Main Street. We just got out of the press and filmmakers reception. Here is that beautiful Main Street. Here we are. And uh, well, I bumped into some filmmakers <laughs> and just ran into a wall and got knocked over. There's a wonderful documentary. Uh, it, documentary? It's not yet dark. Yeah. <laughs> it's called It's Not Yet Dark. And I, I have the director and the producer here. Hello. Here they are. <laughs> wonderful. We have uh, the producer, Catherine Kennedy, and the director, Frankie Fenton. <laughs> Frankie, <laughs> Catherine, welcome to the screen. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Wonderful. Right. So, uh, you know what, give me a quick introduction to It's Not Yet Dark, okay. and then we'll get into the nuts and bolts of it. Okay. Sure. Do you want to do it? Well, it's um, a film based on a filmmaker from Ireland called okay. Sam Fitzmaurice, who... Um, uh, my last name's McNamara, so oh, I, imme I immediately wow. love this okay. film. <laughs> this is my favorite film of the film. Yeah. <laughs> it's also narrated by Colin Farrell, so you might like that too. Wonderful. You know? yeah. Oh, this it's is the one that's narrated by Colin Farrell. Farrell. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So, uh, Simon um, had a film in uh, Sundance in 2008, and it was okay. around about that time he noticed his bone flux, and um, a little bit shortly after that he got diagnosed with uh, ALS. Um, and he was given three years to live at that point. But in the face Don't of give us, away the end of yeah. it. In the face of adversity. Well, oh, well, 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 do what you do. It's already in the blurb. You're already All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, great. Yeah, yeah, basically, he goes on to direct a film mm -hmm. using eye based technology. He's completely at the uh, He's on a ventilator, completely physically incapacitated. He writes and directs entirely. <laughs> Enter you yeah. guys to come in yeah. and document that yeah. sure, stunning it's, process. It's more than just that, it's about the love story between him and his wife. We don't mention the word disability once in the documentary. It's all about his thoughts, his philosophies, his love for his wife and his family and for creating and making film. So that's what drives him forward. It's a really uplifting piece. What connected you with this director? Oh, well, um, actually, uh, I grew up with his wife, which was something that I, I discovered when I talked to, uh, to Catherine about crowdfunding yeah. for his film. Well, it made this, it made it personal. Yeah, absolutely. Which is what yeah. I always look well, for I, in I a produced, documentary. I produced his feature film, My Name is Emily. Yeah. That's, it's out in cinemas in America, in Love Tennessee, it. in February. And then we made the documentary as we were making the film. How did uh, how did you bring Colin Farrell into the mix? He, we approached him for My Name Simon was kind of wooing him to be in My Name is Emily okay. as a father role to a 16-year-old girl. Okay, back before, before, back before the, the diagnosis. Right. No, before the documentary, or like in 2013, after okay. the diagnosis. So he's he was, wooing yeah, him. Yeah, and Colin thought he was too young to play a 16-year-old's father. Okay. But he stayed in touch with Simon, they became really good friends. Right. So when we made the documentary, Simon asked him to be his voice. Because Simon is a digital voice, sort of like Stephen Hawking. So... Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. I'm so excited to see yeah. this documentary. Yeah. We have about 30 seconds left okay. uh, before we head out of here. So okay. just tell me one last thing to our readers and viewers. Yeah. What do you think people will take away from It's Not Dark? Well, hopefully they will take um, a lot. Like, as in... It's Not Yet Dark. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, we, we, uh, I like to think that we will change how people uh, perceive people with disability. Um, but they don't see a wheelchair, you will see a beautiful mind yeah. and uh, see them as a person and, uh, yeah. and, not, and not see the disability. Right? And the power of love and uh, oh. creativity to drive you forward. In a way, you just gotta find out that's what kept Simon going. He just really wanted to make films. Yeah, right. So if you're a cinephile, if you love movies, you'll love this film as well. <laughs> beautiful. This yeah. is the director, Frankie Fenton. This is the producer, Catherine <laughs> Kennedy. The film is It's Not Yet Dark. And uh, I'm Mike signing off from screen. We'll